Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Taking a look at our current surface analysis today, you can see that Tropical Storm Debbie has again made landfall in South Carolina this time, uh, starting to slowly move to the north and starting to bring uh, some rain to Virginia. Most of the rainfall still in North Carolina, but going to be moving northward during the day today. And a lot of the heavy rainfall is going to be well to the west of our area and central to west, western Virginia. Uh, but for today, we are going to be seeing some scattered showers move through the area. A slight chance some of them could see some slightly heavier rain at times uh, and just a slight chance of a thunderstorm associated with any of those showers today. And now looking at our National Hurricane Center graphic for Tropical Storm Debbie. Uh, as you can see again, current location in South Carolina, maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. Going to continue to move northward uh, over the coming days. Um, by Friday, looking to be w pretty well north of our area, north and west of our area, and continuing to shoot off to the north over the weekend. Uh, so today and tomorrow, again, for our area, we're going to be seeing some chances of showers uh, on and off with uh, potential for a break later today and overnight into tomorrow. And the bulk of the activity, again, for us is going to be later in the day, Friday to Friday evening and overnight into early Saturday morning. And now looking at our upper level winds today, at 1,000 feet we have winds coming out of the southeast at 24 knots and staying pretty consistent throughout the column today. Actually seeing our maximum wind speed at only 3,000 feet at 33 knots. And our freezing level today is 14,000 feet. Now taking a quick look at our current radar, as you can see some light showers starting to move into our area. Again, going to be seeing showers kind of similar to this over the next couple of hours. And then a chance of a more prolonged break this afternoon uh, with still some slight chances of scattered showers and potential for thunderstorms moving through. And now looking at our visible satellite imagery, you can see very cloudy conditions in our area. As you can see the circulation of Tropical Storm Debbie on here right now, off in South Carolina at the moment, uh, but going to be seeing these cloudy conditions persist throughout the day today. And now looking at our reflectivity to give you a better picture of what we're going to be seeing the coming hours, uh, some slight chances of light rain showers over the next several hours, a slight chance that some of them could contain some heavier rainfall at times, uh, but not looking to see too, too much in terms of rainfall today. As we move into the afternoon, a chance we could see uh, a bit more of some clearing, and especially as we move overnight into early Friday morning, uh, looking to see a little bit of a dry spell for us as we approach uh, Friday during the afternoon. However, we're gonna be seeing the chances of showers increase again in our area, as well as chances of thunderstorms, uh, particularly when we move into the evening and eventually overnight hours uh, as, this, as this cold front pushes the rest of that moisture out of the area. That's when we're gonna be seeing our most likely chances of rainfall and chances for thunderstorms moving through the area. Now picking back up on Saturday morning, uh, looks like the bulk of that activity will be um, out of here come uh, Saturday midday and into the afternoon. So most of the day Saturday is actually going to be pretty nice for us. Going to be partly cloudy once those showers move out of the area. Then as we move into Sunday, looking to be pretty good as well, mainly mostly cloudy conditions. And moving into next week, uh, overall the pattern is looking pretty good uh, for the early portion of next week. Not going to be seeing too much in terms of any chances of precipitation, maybe just a slight chance on Wednesday, but other than that, staying pretty dry as we move into next week. Now looking at our 24-hour weather risk chart today, again, some chances of light rain showers uh, with the slight chance for some heavier rain at times. Moving throughout the day today, looking to see a break as we move into the overnight hours and into Friday morning, but can't rule out a stray shower during that time frame as well. Our temperatures today started off at 76 degrees. We are only at 77 degrees right now. 
going to be staying pretty consistent with our temperatures today. High of 80 this afternoon and a low tonight around 75. Our winds today started out out of the east. They are still currently out of the east. A touch higher at about 7 to 12 knots or so. Uh, going to be seeing those wind gusts start to pick up later this afternoon and evening and especially as we move into the day on Friday. And our tides for today are normal. And now looking at the next seven days, today again we're going to be seeing uh, cloudy conditions overall with some scattered showers here and there. Moving into the overnight hours into Friday, looking to see a period of some clearing before we see the return of those chances uh, Friday afternoon to evening and into very early Saturday morning. Moving into the day on Saturday, however, we're going to be seeing mainly partly cloudy conditions once the rest of that moisture moves out of the area with a high of 85 degrees. Sunday is going to be partly to mostly cloudy with a high of 80. And as we move into next week, Monday through Wednesday, mostly to partly cloudy, temperatures in the low to mid 80s. That's going to conclude our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Hope you guys have a great day.